Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Detola, the Director of Clinical Affairs for Dense Ply Serona and the Director of Sarah World, and I'm happy to have with us today one of our featured speakers at Sarah World 2016, Heidi Arndt. Heidi, long time no see, how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. You are one of my favorite hygienists, and I'm very excited that we have a hygiene track, a track focused strictly for hygienists at Sierra World 2016. Uh, for those of our viewers who aren't quite familiar with who you are yet, they will know after Sierra World. Tell me a little bit about your background and how you came to do what you're doing today. Sure, I've been a dental hygienist for over 20 years. I was lucky enough to start my career working at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. After working at Mayo, I started working for a large dental group practice in Minnesota, um, and they were owned by a management company uh, that owned dental practices all over the U.S. I moved up the ranks by being a mentor hygienist, moved into management, um, and while I was at this organization, I oversaw a thousand dental hygienists and managed over $140 million in hygiene revenue. Wow, I would assume managing a thousand hygienists gives you a lot of insight into the habits of what you know hygienists tend to do that I don't I don't know anybody else who's worked with that many hygienists before yeah it is it was a great experience that's fantastic now coming up at Sierra World 2016 you're going to be presenting two different classes to the hygienists in attendance one's going to be the Grand Slam hygiene exam tell me a little bit what the I love the way that sounds by the way so good job on the naming <laughs> you might get title of the year you're in the running oh, right now for Grand Slam oh, good, hygiene good. exam. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what hygienists who attend that course are going to learn. This is all about the dental hygiene exam um, and how they're sharing information with the doctor. We know that the most crucial part of the hygiene appointment is that during the examination when the doctor comes in to check the patient. Uh, we're going to talk about everything the dental hygienist needs to share with the doctor when they come in to do the exam so that we cover all bases with our patient and create that comprehensive treatment plan. We'll talk about how to tee up the doctor for a restorative and how to really seal the deal so that when the doctor leaves the room, the patient's ready to say yes to treatment. Yeah, and I always loved that. I always felt that, you know, the hygienist just got to spend like an hour with the patient and now I'm just gonna run in and say something. But when it's been set up by the hygienist and already explained, I think at that point, the more the doctor talks, the worse the outcome might be, right? Kind of un I unsell it at that point. I agree. I agree. So the dental hygienist absolutely has to play a big part in that process. Right. And the other course you're going to be teaching is about knowing your numbers. You know, you call it hygiene business rule number one. Uh, what are those in attendance going to learn about what you need to know about your numbers? There's a lot of dental hygienists out there that don't understand the financial part of the business, but also don't understand what they're expected to bring to the practice. These hygienists want to increase their value within the practice. So in this course, we're going to talk about those key statistics they should know and monitor in order to help their practice grow. It'll also help them to know what they're accountable for to be a good partner in the practice. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, again, we're very excited to have a hygiene track, and I'm even more excited that you're a part of it. Heidi, we look forward to seeing you uh, this August in Orlando at Sierra World 2016. Thanks for your time today. Thank you very much.